Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 62 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to show you a way you could kind of customize the before after look you get in Lightroom by hitting the Y key on your keyboard. Now, I did cover this in episode 26, but in this episode, I'm going to show you a different way to do it. I will have episode 26 linked below so that you could check that out if you want. Now, what I'm talking about is I have this image and I processed it, and you could get a before after by hitting the Y key on your keyboard, right? So we have here's the before and here's the after. And I hit the Y key again, and we're back to the processed image. Now, let's say I have it to this point, and I want to process it in black and white. So I could go over here, and I'll, I'll just click this B&W in the HSL tab, and I got a black and white image. Now I want to process it from here, like the sky is a little too light. So I'm going to bring the black and white mix uh, blue down, and we're going to bring aqua down a little bit. And let's say we're going to Bring green up, yellows up, oranges up, reds up. Let's see if purple does anything. No. And magenta doesn't do anything. All right, so I did some adjustments to my black and white image. Uh, now I'm going to go back, let's say, and I think that my shadows are, are still too dark, so I'll open those up a little bit. Maybe we'll even open up the blacks a little bit. Yeah, so that looks a little more to my liking. All right, so I processed the image black and white. Now when I hit the Y key and go before after, I have this before image, which is the original raw file with no processing done on it at all. And that really isn't relevant to me as much as I would like to see the black and white image right when I converted it to black and white. And that's what I covered in episode 26, a way to do that. Well, another way to do that is you go to the history panel, and we're going to go down to the part in the history where I just converted it to black and white, which is right here. So all this other processing was done to the color images, color image. I started this video, and the first thing I did was convert it to black and white. So I want this to be that step in the processing. All you have to do is click on it with the left mouse button and then just drag it and drop it right on top of that. Now there is the image just converted to black and white at that step. And there is the image after I processed it. So I could hit the Y key again. Now I'm back to the original image. I could hit the Y key again. And you could see it stays there. So that is one way you could probably get a better look at a before part of the image. So maybe you processed an image along and you have it in color, but then maybe you want to try some soft focus effects and things like that. And you want to just uh, maybe look at that soft focus look against your fully processed image, not against the original raw file that you just imported. Well, that's how you would do it. Now, one caveat to this is I use, uh, of course, a, a North American keyboard. And if I hit the backslash key, uh, now that will also default to that before look that I just dragged into the uh, image, as you can see. It's not the before look isn't going back to the original raw file. It's going to that image there. And that's it. That's as easy as you could do it. Now, if you ever want to set it back, you could just go to the Y again. So you're comparing them both. Go to your import right here, drag that right there, and now you have it back the way it was so that you'll get it uh, before and after to the original raw file, like that. So that's it. That's it for episode 62. I hope that made sense, and maybe it will come in handy for something you want to do. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.